Selling inward for four hundred dollars money. Uh the most I would pay is like three hundred. Sorry, four hundred is just out of my price range for that type of stuff. QQ, shut the fuck up, you stupid faggot. If the video was looped, how would I call you a stupid faggot? Exactly. It's not looped, fucking dumbass. Inward, 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 inward. Thanks, Hustlin, for the donation. I appreciate it. No more, no, no, boys. No more typing the N-word in chat. No more cursing. Selling 10 for $69 each. That's a steep price. I don't think you're going to get any sales. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. And I actually intentionally waited for this to cool off because I'm not trying to get cloud off dude's name. I think he's a social media plant. And I think YouTube funded him or something because I have no I earthly idea how he has more followers than Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent or even Eminem. He's never cut a record or even did film. But the uh, Chris Tyson leaves Mr. Beast team after alleged inappropriate behavior with a minor as he should. Right. But I ain't really this ain't really about him. This is about Mr. Beast. I'm not really trusting that this slime ball ain't got no dirt on him. Right. It's one, he's relatively young, and in my opinion, most of the younger generation that's not black, or even the ones that are black, are clout chasers, and they do a whole bunch of slime ball shit. Now, if Justin Bieber was caught at 15 years old having songs or on camera talking about there'd be one less lonely nigga, I have reason to believe that this Mr. Beast ain't squeaky clean, right? I think, me personally, I think he's a closeted racist, and I got no proof YouTube keeps blocking my videos. However, his just go unfettered and unabated, right? Um, that video you saw before I started talking, he was talking about that he paid three hundred dollars for a nigga. Now, like, four hundred is too steep. Then he goes on to say that um, he paid some dude asked him what he paid sixty nine dollars for a nigga, and he says no, sixty nine dollars is also too steep, right? Now, a lot of people in the comment section said he was joking. I believe that even a joke is rooted in some deep seated truth. I'm not trusting this scumbag. Like he rings of like he got scandal on him. Now, I know if you go through my archives, I probably said some transphobic or homophobic slurs. Hell, even some racist ones. It's within context. I'm not just out here like bashing somebody. Now, in my defense, I am a person of color. So if I have used uh, colorful language to refer to somebody, it's probably because they treated me in a malicious manner, right? Even black people don't go off the cuff of just saying racist shit or homophobic shit. It's within context. Somebody said something that was offensive to me and I reacted. In his case, as a white man, you got to be on your toes. And two, even if you don't have to be on your toes as a white man, you can't jokingly say racist shit. One, being white doesn't help you when you do. It hurts you. As a black person, until we're the minority or majority, the same isn't to be said. And I'm not saying that it makes it okay. I'm just explaining it. Like I told a friend of mine, he said, gee, this was a while back, about 15 years ago. He said, yo, you sound like you don't like white people. Are you racist? I said, I'm not. My mom's half white. And even though that doesn't make her white, right? It's kind of a self uh, conflict of interest to hate white people when my mom is biologically half of what they are right but i told him i said no i'm not racist but if i was could you honestly say i don't have a reason i could tell you some stories and make you believe of how i've been oppressed or even been racially targeted by the police or even regular white people no caring situations mostly school systems in any event they're like this episode you know what to do and i'm out one less lonely nigga